So you're thinking about re-gripping the deck of your e-foil board. Although this video pertains particularly to the Waydo Flyer 1, there may be some information in this video that will be helpful. Uh, suggestion tips for anyone and their e-foil brand. The most common reason someone might want to change the grip of their board is because the grip is worn out and faded. Or maybe they just want to give their board a unique look. For me, I had three reasons for changing the grip on my board and the main reason was because originally the battery would sit higher than the deck of the board and so I actually double layered the grip on top of the original grip on the deck of the board you can see the original gray foam underneath the green new foam there and then on the battery there's only just the green and so when I install the battery there is now an even surface all the way across the deck of the board. The other reason was tied with uh, the third reason and that was to give it a unique look and because my cats turned my board into a scratching post because I left it out for them to get to so you can see there's some scratches there. Another benefit of this double stuff EVA foam is that the deck of the board is not only flush across the battery but these battery locks are now more embedded into the surface of the deck so that a rider will be less likely to put their knee into these hard locks and that can be a bit painful. So these are two things that I hope we do will change in the future is to make the deck overall more flat all the way across the surface and make these battery locks more embedded to mitigate any painful knee pushing into these battery locks. And for those of you that have not seen any of my other videos, you may be wondering, why is my board blue? Well, I painted it with Plasti Dip, and uh, it holds up pretty good, but sometimes, as you can see here, it may need some touch-ups. And you may have noticed an HIN plate on the back. That's also unique to mine, as well as on the inside of the board there. I have some videos about Plasti dipping, customizing your board, as well as attaching an HIN plate for those of you who have or who have purchased a original Flyer 1 version 1 Kickstarter board. So, all right, let's kind of get more into detail. I did buy some smaller pieces. You can see there's a seam here. So I did not buy one big giant piece. I found this color on sale on Amazon, and I'll have a link in the description and in the comments as well and uh, I actually made this grip slightly bigger all the way around so that it would adhere better to the actual deck of the board especially because I was double layering it and I wanted it to be able to wrap around that original layer of foam so another thing I did to improve the adhesion of the new decking material the new grip is I actually cut down the tread, the pattern of the original uh, foam with a razor blade all the way around the perimeter. I did not do the entire board because it was very time consuming. I just wanted to have that real um, more secure adhesion around the perimeter of the board. Over time because of uh, riders coming on the board and their bodies and their feet scuffing across the back pieces these pieces started to lift off of the board and so I actually put some shoe goo you might be able to see it kind of uh, glistening in the sun here so if you again if you've seen any of my other videos you know I love shoe goo it's a great glue for water sports and water use it's waterproof just really easy to use so I recommend right from the get-go to use shoe goo at least on the back portion of the board where you're standing and you're moving around a lot to ensure that there's a really good adhesion and that it's not going to lift off of the uh, board there. <clears throat> I also would not recommend using the original grip. If you were to take off the original grip and then use that as a pattern, it's going to get all stretched out. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to need, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to need to use some paper or in my case, I used some wax paper, something translucent or transparent that you can trace a pattern all the way around the perimeter 
of the grip and then apply that. So, you know, my grip is not perfect, but you're not really going to notice the imperfections unless you get really close. When you're watching videos of mine and there's action going on, you're not going to notice any of these imperfections. Also, the uh, this grip is a little bit softer than the original grip, a little bit tackier. Uh, I really like this grip a lot. So again, check the uh, comments in the description for a link for this. I last purchased this EVA traction padding back in spring of last year, so it's been serving its purpose quite well. You can also see that you can buy other colors. You can buy it in two pieces or one piece. You can even, if you look here at black, I mean, these things are always changing. You can do a subscribe and save and then cancel it the next month and do an extra 15% on your subscribe and save order. So depending on what color you want, uh, you may find better deals, better prices, better customization for your board, your color, your desires, and all of that good stuff. Uh, so definitely utilize all these things for your benefit. Or if you find a totally different brand that you prefer, go for it. Make it your own. One last thing I'd like to recommend that I did when applying the foam is that you peel off only a little bit of the backing at a time, starting with the edge that you'd like to press down first. And then as you pull off the backing, you can continue to press the foam into the surface, making sure the adhesive sticks and that there's no bubbles, pulling the backing back and pressing the foam as you go. Uh, so yeah, get your creativity on and uh, go out and uh, regrip your board. Send me a link to pictures of what you've done and love to see it. Uh, give me a like, thumbs up follow, subscribe, all those things you know how to do, <sighs> and live life to the foilist, as always.